The best laid plans of men don't always come to fruition. Man proposes, but God disposes. And then boots you right in the balls. <laughs> Greetings, my fellow worshippers of the anti-woke. And in today's video, I will be talking about Daniel Vavra. Who? <laughs> Well, exactly. I didn't know who this guy was, but you, my dear viewers, will definitely be familiar with what this gentleman has written in the past. If I said to you, Mafia and Mafia 2, well, he's also the same man who co-founded Warhorse Studios back in 2011. He is a gentleman from the Czech Republic, and he's also the guy who gave us Kingdom Come Deliverance 1 and is now waxing lyrical about Kingdom Come Deliverance 2. I get the fact this man is absolutely based. If you check out the guy's Twitter banner, that's all you need to know. Again, I said it on Sunday when I dropped my reaction for KCD 2 that Eastern Europeans are a based bunch of people. Would I mess with them? No. Would I mess with Daniel? Definitely not. And when you know why, when I show you the video of him in a few minutes, then you'll understand why I've got high hopes for KCD2 when it's released in February of 2025. And why Assassin's Creed Shadows doesn't stand a chance against this indie behemoth. On today's episode of Kung Fu Hot Dog. Okay, you can come. Are you coming? Kind of busy right now. And I'm coming for it, Ken. I'm coming for the fucking money, you piece of shit. I'm like uh, getting the feeling of coming in the gym. I'm getting the feeling of coming at home. I'm getting the feeling. In the ass end of space, even aliens watch Jason King with Kung Fu Hot Dog. This is the greatest show I've seen in my life. Duke Nukem likes this guy. by 1970s Robert Redford. <laughs> now over on Twitter X, Dan Vavara dropped this bombshell of a tweet. KCD2 will be released just a few days before the new Assassin's Creed Shadows. Makes me a, a little nervous. Dude, you don't have to be. But it will be interesting to see if a smaller company with hardcore, old school RPG mechanics could compete with a corporate overlord product for the the modern gaming audience yeah because that's the same thing bethesda are preaching about regarding the new indiana jones game what do you think also no de nuvo which basically means you can mod the game how you want to which i think is absolutely great i haven't seen any modded versions for kcd1 yet but i'm pretty sure when this uh, second title is released next year it's going to go gangbusters crazy with the uh, modders out there these two fine gentlemen right here are the actors who were reenacting a walkthrough. I think they're in Poland or the Czech Republic, um, reenacting their characters, which is really cool. I was going to include that in my video reaction on Sunday, but I felt it was just too much to cram in. Uh, but if you go over to the, or if you walk on over to the Warhol Studios on YouTube, uh, it's the second or third video that they recently uploaded. So do check it out by all means. And what I found very interesting when I looked at Dan Daniel Vavra's back catalogue of what he's done and in terms of his thoughts and feelings about the AAA game industry well I found this very interesting article here on his LinkedIn profile so a gentleman called Martin Stranad I hope I pronounced your name correctly sir that he turned 40 a four weeks ago so belated birthday greetings to him and he says about 24 years of my life i spent working towards and within the gaming industry i started as a junior gaming journalist on early check internet at the age of 16 without any pay at all and stayed in gaming and tech journalism for eight years i like the fact that he did it without pay because if you're really passionate about something 
you're going to have to make some sacrifices, right? Not that the guy was living on the edge of poverty or anything like that, on the breadline. No, he had enough to survive, but basically he couldn't um, go out there and probably buy his favourite uh, CD or item of clothing. He just wanted to do stuff related to gaming. So he did that for eight years, then he became a game designer and by the age of 23 was studying at university being a journalist and writing books and by this point he's racked up um, so many articles on mobile games releases smart mobile phone gaming and web games AAA games that altogether sold over 40 million copies however what's actually damning about his remark here is this paragraph um, but i would also like to point out that the current state of the gaming industry job market is so bad that no AAA game dev studios are willing to pay adequate salary for my proven senior experience and skill set. The situation is so dire that I ended up rather spending my time in the past few years on providing consultations and mentorships to the next generation of game devs so they know their own price and can't be fooled by the glamorous names of long dying studios for low salaries. Now, the thing is, Martin, this is the reason why a AAA studio will not consider you. And yeah, I know I'm gonna say it and I'm gonna keep beating this drum till somebody actually gets the message. Studios like Bioware, who do they hire to safeguard Veil guard. I mean, that's a bad use of English. Of course, it's going to be someone like Corinne Bush, someone like Laura Katie Dale as the creative cultural consultant, whatever the hell that is. So in other words, Martin, you sound like a very based man, sir, except uh, somebody with purple dyed hair and a pronoun or extra to their biography that wasn't in their birth certificate will just jump the queue a mile ahead of you and will walk in the front door of a AAA gaming studio and uh, they can sit down and ruin a franchise just like what happened with Dragon Age the Veil God. My soul of Ellen Hart. Yeah. I, listen, I can change him. Yeah. I can change him. And be like, I can change him. Are you telling me that you are not- I'm non-binary. I'm not a woman. This is Daniel Favre, a huge gargantuan behemoth of a man. Do you think we can arm wrestle if we ever meet a clash of the titans? <sighs> KCD2 will actually get a lot of eyes on it in February of 2025 because Ubisoft wants to rush release AC Shadows in the same month because guess what in america it's black history month does anybody care about that no nobody does and I, that's the only reason so apparently if you're and i think black history month is actually an insult to black people themselves they don't care about that they just want to live their lives and to have a character like yasuke in an assassin's creed game set in feudal japan when the original character was meant to be a Japanese man. So guess what, folks? You can't have a white man anymore as your lead in a video game. If he's white and Japanese, that's a no-no as well. So remove him, put the fake black guy in his place, and uh, all is good to go. And I guarantee you, if that game, AC Shadows, is released in February 2025, guess what? It's going to suffer the same results as Dragon Age Veilguard. It absolutely will tank and it's possibly the game that will maybe kill Ubisoft once and for all if by that time Tencent hasn't bought them already. But what did you think folks? Did you know much about Daniel Vavra? And pretty much of you are in the comment section will know who he is and what his credentials are. But looking at him there again, I would not mess with this dude at all. And I do like his t-shirt, actually. So definitely give him a follow on Twitter X. Uh, definitely see his thoughts about the previous Assassin's Creed games. One thing he did mention as well, actually, that I thought was very interesting, is that he does like the old school Assassin's Creed titles. But he said after number three, when they killed off Desmond Miles, as voiced by the impeccably talented and cool... 
Nolan North, he lost interest. But for me, I would say the last great AC game I played was Syndicate because I like the Fried Twins, especially Evie. She was great, brilliantly voiced, but that whole Victorian-esque London was so good, really is. Um, so, but I didn't play Valhalla. I mean, it was bloated anyway. So I get the man's point. He doesn't like what, what it's become. And yeah, I think that's why I think Ubisoft uh, with AC Shadows is just gonna be an absolute cataclysmic disaster so if i were you folks and if you were me and if you were mr daniel vavra right there in his macho glory leave a like below smash that subscribe button and if i were you and if you were me don't forget to wishlist kcd2 on steam i'll catch you catching me for the return me hearties for the next video